NAN quietly made a tiny update that has a massive impact when building AI agents. This paradigm change means that YouTube tutorials and JSON templates made just a few weeks or months ago are now outdated. And the worst part, there is a real possibility that all previous agents that are already built might break when the NAN updates roll out completely. Now we build AI agents and automations for a living and we could only find one GitHub thread talking about this issue. And NAN themselves say that we dropped the ball on communicating a paradigm change here. So if you're a beginner looking to learn how to build on NAN or are following YouTube tutorials, banging your head against the wall and not understanding why your agents aren't able to use tools or why a specific section seen in the tutorial just doesn't exist in your NAN. Or if you're already built complex AI agents with HTTP request tools for yourself or for your clients and haven't even noticed a change. In this short video, I'll quickly explain, first of all, what that tiny change actually is, how to fix the issue, and finally, how to make sure that these silent updates like this one don't ruin all of your hard work and learning. So what actually is the issue? Well, it's something to do with HTTP request tools. For an example, uh, here's a CRM agent built on NAN, of course, that can get opportunities, update things, stages, pipelines, tasks, all those things on a go high level. And for example, um, if you pass off a URL with a placeholder like this um, in a HTTP request tool, you used to have a section down here that's called placeholders. Essentially, if you see pipeline ID, so you need to have the AI agent uh, or the master agent that uses those tools actually um, understand the context and put the correct number or string or whatever you, you need in here, you would go down to the placeholder definitions, give the placeholder a name and then uh, give it a description as well and your agent would kind of figure it out. Now, I'll bring you an example um, from a new agent that I was building. It's meant for ClickUp. As you can see, there's a bunch of HTTP request tools attached to here. Essentially, I'll demo it very quickly and I'll say, we have different tools, but for this sake, let's let's dive into get spaces. So as you can see that there is no placeholder here in the URL. So if I ask it, um, what are all the spaces in um, my uh, ClickUp? Then of course it will get there. The HTTP request goes through and we see growth, delivery, admin, internal projects, and sandbox. So we also have get folders here, as you can see. Um, essentially, the way that API call or HTTP request works is that you need to have the space ID to find folders or get folders, right? And I just realized I'll save this just in case. Now, what happens or what you might see is that there's no way to actually deal with the placeholder C here. So if we ask him uh, what, what are the folders in growth, it fails. Please check your parameters. Now, you might see that someone has a placeholder here on a YouTube tutorial, whatever, but you don't really see it here. Now, what is actually going on? So what's actually going on is from NAN version 1.9.0, um, they actually removed the placeholder part from the HTTP request tool. Here's in April 27th, someone had the issue um, and it was treated as a bug until Charlie here mentioned that they replaced the previous implementation with um, this paradigm that comes from other tools. Um, they did say we dropped the ball in communicating a paradigm change here. So that is pretty interesting. And I definitely spend way too much trying to figure out if I'm stupid and I can't find the placeholders. I was going through my old agents and seeing that it's there and it's not there until I started really Googling and diving in and I found this. So what does this actually mean? How do you actually fix it? And it's pretty straightforward, but not very intuitive. 
So going back to the actual HTTP request tool, um, this doesn't work anymore because we can't actually um, give context about the placeholders. So what we'll have to do is, I'm gonna copy this part here. And what you'll have to do is double curly braces, dollar sign from AI in caps, you do parentheses, close the parentheses, and it needs to be treated as a string, if I'm not mistaken, looking here. Also, there's a example um, here in this discussion as well. But as you can see, it lights up. Um, something is wrong here. Probably not. And then let's paste this back. Let's save this and let's ask the same thing. What are the folders in growth? And it went through, the path is right, and we got YouTube and deal flow. That is pretty cool. Um, it's a very small change, but this is definitely not as intuitive as, as you would like for it to be. I personally find that the placeholders um, was way more intuitive than this. But if you were not able to find the placeholders or you couldn't understand why, why your uh, tools were giving bad parameters, this is most likely the issue. And I showed you before an old agent, well, that still has the placeholders, but we don't know if the updates are gonna affect all the previous builds as well, because if the updates roll through uh, for all of it, that means we need to go through a lot of HTTP request tool nodes and do all the changes manually, which is going to be a headache. And like I mentioned, there's almost no one talking about this, but when you actually try to follow YouTube tutorials and you don't find a section, especially if you're a beginner or um, like me who just spends an extra hour trying to find a solution, go through threads, discussions, uh, Googling, perplexity, and so on, it can be very annoying when those updates and, and paradigm changes go through without actually communicating it properly. And because of that reason, we actually recently just launched a free school group where we post updates like this, that we find problems, workarounds, issues exactly like this one uh, from real live experience of building AI automations, workflows and agents for ourselves and for our clients. So if you're interested, go check it out, join the school, get all the templates and JSONs seen on my other videos. Uh, you can go check out the CRM agent video as well that I quickly showed here. And uh, if you found this valuable or if it helped you out, I would really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe and all the other things that the, the serious YouTubers say. So my name is Rob, we're winningrowth.com and if you run a service-based business and would like AI implementation or AI agents into your business, you can find a link to book a call with us either down in the description or on our website, windgrowth.com. Thank you for watching and until next time.